Hey, I'm Eric with Fleming Traps, and we get many questions on how to wax your traps. And today we'd like to give you a short video presentation on a couple different methods. We have the double boiler method system, and we also have the system with your uh, pot and the uh, die that you use to dye your traps. When you get ready to wax your traps, the first thing you want to do is you want to get your wax. Uh, we have a couple different kinds. We have the Pete's Best Odorless Trap Wax. We have it available in a one pound bar and then also a five pound bar. Uh, one thing you want to look at when you're picking out your wax is you want to make sure it has no beeswax in it. Uh, what the beeswax is going to do if you do get it in it is uh, it's going to allow the wax on your traps. Once it gets cold, it's going to start chipping uh, and clumping up on you. You don't want that. So you want to make sure when picking out your wax to get a good wax that uh, has no beeswax in it whatsoever. We get asked all the time, you know, why do you wax your trap? Uh, and what I always tell everybody is, if you wax your traps, the traps are going to operate much more smoothly and faster uh, than if you didn't have them waxed. Also, when you do dye your traps, they have a pretty strong uh, salty odor to them, and that's going to knock that down, uh, give you some good odor control. And uh, also, too, if you're going to use any antifreeze powders or salt in your set, uh, what it's going to do is going to protect your trap from uh, those products and keep it in good working condition where it won't rust. Now that we've put our bar of wax in our solution uh, and it's already melted, what we're going to do is we've got a couple traps here. Uh, if you notice these traps, uh, they have cooled down and dried off. We also uh, recommend using uh, gloves anytime that you're going to uh, attempt to do this. And what we've done is we've taken our traps and tied a piece of wire to them. That way we can easily dip them and pull them out without getting close to the water. Uh, what you want to do, uh, so you want to dip your traps in. Uh, since these traps are cool, I let them sit for approximately 15 to 30 seconds uh, to get them good and warm. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull them back through the wax coating on the top and it should give uh, a good thin coating of wax on it. You want to fully submerge them. I'm bend this over. And then we can wait and then we should be able to uh, pull them out and pull them through the wax and uh, like I said we get a good coating of wax on it. Alright that should be long enough and we're going to pull our traps out. I slowly pull it through the wax. We should have a good coating of wax on them. At that point we'll let them dry off and then we'll place them in a container. I generally put some leaves in it uh, and uh, set them in there and then we should be ready to go. The purpose of using the double boiler method is to prevent your wax from catching fire. Uh, in doing so, what we do is we take the bottom pot, fill it up with water, and we take a metal spacer and put it on the bottom. Uh, we take the top pot, put our wax in it, and place it inside the bottom pot. What this does is it prevents your wax from catching on fire. Wax has a very low flash point and you do uh, run into that if you do just one pot method. This way your water is going to boil only at 212 degrees so you know that your wax is not going to get hot enough to catch fire. Uh, this is an excellent method of, of doing it the safe way and not having to worry about the fire. If you do uh, use just a one pot method, just make sure you have uh, uh, something that you can put over the top of the pot to smother it if it does catch fire. Okay, now that our wax is fully melted, uh, I'm just going to take one trap here. Uh, for an example, uh, to dip in there. Uh, what we'll want to do is when we dip it in, we want to have it fully submerged. Take my wire and bend it over. And then we want to leave that trap there uh, for approximately two to three minutes to get a good coating of wax on it. Uh, at that point, we'll pull the trap out uh, hang it up, dry the trap, and then once it's cooled off, uh, we'll place it in our uh, Rubbermaid tub with leaves and we'll be ready to go. Now it's time to remove our trap. What you'll want to do when you pull it out, the wax should roll off of it just like water. Get a good thin coating of wrap wax and I will get it hung up to dry. 
We hope this video today gives you a basic understanding of how to wax your traps. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give us a call or visit us online at flemingtraps.com. Thanks for stopping by.